and welcome to Only Connect, the challenging, super difficult quiz with contestants so sharp that we're not allowed to run with them in case we trip over and a contestant goes in someone's eye. It's an interesting match-up this time. We've got the insurers against the gamblers, which is essentially a clash between pessimism and optimism. I'm going to assume that one team's already booked a cab home and the other team's booked a celebration party. So let's hope it's not a draw, because then everyone's disappointed. Especially me, because it'll mean a tie-break and I've got to be somewhere. So, let's hurry up and meet them. To my right, the insurers. Stephen Gore, a compliance consultant and aficionado of the opera with a degree in history. Chris Miller, an Oxford maths graduate and IT security consultant who enjoys astronomy. And their captain, Peter Davis, also an Oxford maths graduate and an investment consultant who enjoys coaching tennis in his spare time. Goodness, you must need a lot of insurance to do that. Just think what could go wrong. Absolutely, yes. But you're not actually insurance brokers. Well, we used to work for the same insurance company and then we couldn't take the excitement, so now we're all doing our own consulting work. Oh, right. Well, I hope you can take the excitement of the quiz. Good luck. Let's meet your opponents. On my left, the gamblers. Jenny Ryan, an aspiring scriptwriter, and she says a demon poker player. But is she bluffing? Alan Gibbs, a pharmaceutical researcher with a weakness for sports betting of any kind. And their captain, Dave Bill, an ex-bookie and pub landlord who splits his stake money between the track and the roulette wheel. Dave, you play roulette. Easy way to win one, easy way to lose it. A very easy way to lose it. What about the track? You bet on the dogs as well? Uh, dogs a few times, mostly the horses. But are you in it for the fun or the money? The money. OK. I'll not lie to you. <laughs> well, you're not going to get any money on this show. Glory <laughs> only. <off> them. <laughs> but that's the most important thing. Good luck, both teams. Let's press on with round one. In round one, the team simply have to tell me what is the connection between four clues. But the fewer clues you need to see before telling me the connection, the more points you can get. Five, three, two and one points available. The insurers won the toss. I see you've put the gamblers in first. So, gamblers, you will be first to select a Greek letter from our lovely board. Alpha, please. OK, the first clue is coming up. Shout next when you're ready to see another one. Starting now. 17, 18. 17, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, is it bodies that of water that have frozen over? That's right. That is the years they last froze over. Well done. That's a point to you. Insurers, please pick a letter. Epsilon, please. Epsilon, your first clue is coming up. Time starts now. Three in Italian. Yes. Next. Four in German. Yes. Then uh, foreign numbers. Yes. The numbers in, 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 in foreign languages. Yes, OK. European languages. Well, going for European languages, yes. They are numbers in European languages. I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to tell me a little bit more than that. Tre is three in Italian. Fear is four in German. I'm going to give you one more go, and bear in mind this is a pretty exact Quiz. We don't like vagueness. I wouldn't accept, for example, they're all words. Mm. Try to be a little more specific. Well, the next one will be five. Something or other will be five. There'll be five and six. I'm afraid I just can't give it to you, so I'm going to show the next two clues to your opponents, the gamblers. Oh, it's, it's, is it foreign, foreign numbers which have got the same number of letters as the oh, number? Oh, well, I think that's right, yeah. Foreign, foreign uh, numbers have got the same number of letters as the number. Not all foreign. Four is English, of course, Sorry, but that is the right answer. Yeah. They are numbers, the names of which contain the same number of letters as the number itself. I'm sorry about that, insurers, but we're looking for really tight connections here. So that's a bonus to you, gamblers, and you may pick your own letter. Gamma, please. Gamma. First clue coming up. These are going to be picture clues. First one coming now. Key the door. Key the door. Twenty-one. 21. Because we've all been going on this thing. And I bet. I bet. Yeah. I bet. I bet. Well do I have to go for that? Next. Well, I'm very tempted to no, no, go no, for no, that. No, 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 no. Next, please. Like 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 eleven. <laughs> Should have gone. They're all bingo calls. Key the door. Legs eleven. 
That's absolutely right. Do you want to have a guess what would have come next? Two fat ladies. Two fat ladies, <laughs> two little ducks. Yeah. There they are, two little ducks, two fat ladies. Are you Sorry, bingo yeah. players, gamblers? I play, I play a bit of bingo, but if you go to the proper bingo holes, they don't use the traditional calls. But it's you, really you good give, fun giving for up a the night. Poker. <laughs> <laughs> I myself am terrible at bingo. I, I went along once. You get these old ladies there who do sort of 19 cards at once. They're crazily good at it. Some sort of magic or voodoo. <laughs> do play three times a day every day, so... Yeah. Well done, gamblers. You get three points for getting it after just two clues. And we're back to the insurers to pick a letter. Beta, please. Beta, your first clue is coming up. Time starts now. Death of pain. He was murdered, I think. Oh, death, death, I did it. Death, 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 death of pain. Mm -hmm. yeah. Next. He was executed. He was executed, wasn't he? Shot, was he? He was shot, yeah. wasn't he? Yes. Did, did, did he kill anybody? Yes. Next. He did. They were exposed. He was exposed as a... They were exposed as spies, were they? Ten seconds. Next. Five seconds. There we go. Time is up, so there's another possible bonus chance for you gamblers. I believe that's when they all had the knighthood stripped. They were all knights of the realm and had them withdrawn. That is absolutely right. They had their knighthoods taken away. Mugabe. Do you know what for? <laughs> Mugabe for Mugabe generally Mugabe various being things, I'm presuming. <laughs> a villain. Um, Roger Case was treason, I think. Caravaggio killed someone, I think. And, and Blunt, as he was a double agent, so was he, uh, that might have been treason as well. That's pretty much correct. Caravaggio's the best one. He lost his knighthood for the crime of brawling with seven armed knights. <laughs> I mean, we've get, all done it after a drink. I do that all the time. <laughs> a few I've years after. Uh, my uh, damehood strip, so. You, you lose <laughs> a knighthood for that sort of thing. Very well done for the bonus point, and it is now your turn to pick a question. Delta, please. OK. This is going to be the sound or music question, so you'll be hearing the clues. First one starting now. <laughs> It's going to be from Madame Butterfly. Oh, Puccini, like, yeah. Butterfly. Yeah. Next, please. It's so okay. bad with classical music. Yeah. Next, no. please. Starting together. It's um, super hard. hard. Yeah. Start Next, please. Ten seconds. Glad I crushed the wedding. Um, by, by Busted. Songs about being married. Two seconds. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Songs about getting married. I'll accept it. They're okay. pieces of music or songs about weddings. Yeah. What do you think you heard? We heard Busted crash the wedding. That's the one. Sad <laughs> that's the one we know. The mighty Sue Pollard. Starting <laughs> together. together. The first one sounded. It could have been from Madame Butterfly, but I have no idea. I'm terrible at classical music. And the second the one, no. Yeah. The first one was Stravinsky's so Les Nos. You I don't recognise the second one. Insurers, did you know the second piece? <laughs> the second one, but... Marriage of Figaro. Marriage of Figaro. Marriage of yeah. Figaro. Figaro. It's from an advert. I need that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's an interesting world where you know Sue Pollard, but not Mozart. And busted. <laughs> yes. Well, very good, very good. You managed to get it. So there is just one question remaining, and that's for the insurers. It's going to be Zeta. Mm -hmm. Your first clue is coming up now. Book. Next. Are they books that we won awards for daft titles? Again, they're certainly daft titles. Uh, next. Yes, yes, I think that's what you Books that won awards for daft titles. That is absolutely right. They all won the Diagram Group Prize for the oddest title of the year. Last one was How to Avoid yeah. Huge Ships. <laughs> Most of them quite self-explanatory. Do you want to have a guess what Living with Crazy Buttocks was about? I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> Not on a family show. I hadn't heard of that book, but I guessed what it was about, and I looked it up, and it is indeed about a lady who falls in love with a Native American. <laughs> Crazy but I bet that wasn't, <laughs> almost certainly wasn't his real name. It's the kind of thing you'd make up, isn't it, to impress a sort of awestruck New Yorker. That's what that was about. So well done, and you got some points right at the end there. That means the scores at the end of round one see the insurers with two points, but the gamblers are in the lead with seven points. On to round two then. This time there are still four connected clues, but it's a sequence. I want the contestants to tell me what comes forth. 
you will see a maximum of three clues. Obviously, the fewer clues you see, the more points you get for giving me the right answer. But you will not see the fourth one because that is the answer. So, gamblers, you'll be going first again. Please pick a letter. Alpha, please. Alpha, first in the sequence coming up. What is fourth? Time starts now. Yellow leaves, do we know? That sounds like a town, but no idea. No. Next, Alpha. please. Atchison. US Secretary of State, Dean Atchison. Dean Somebody else spelled on the move. Dean. Madeleine Albright. No. Yeah. Next, please. You say it's extra just here, but yeah, but um, who being? It's, so it could be Albright. Madeleine then, Albright, but, sorry. I mean, it would have been in under Reagan. No, Madeleine Albright. Well, no. Ten seconds. No, Albright's going back to the centre. Ah, right, so. So, yeah, it could yeah. be. Yeah. Yeah. No, really. Try Albright. For what reason? American Secretary of State, Madeleine Albright. Completely wrong. Thank you. I'm going to throw it over for a possible bonus to the insurers. We know the link, but we can't think of his name. The Chief Medical Officer. You are right. These are chief medical officers of England, and after Kenneth comes Two. Liam Donaldson. Oh, yes. So no points there, but you were close, insurers. Pick your own question, please. Zeta, please. First one coming up. These are going to be picture clues, so I want to know what you'd expect to see in the fourth picture. First one now. Green, Green boot. It's not the front cover of Life of Pi, is it? Next. Honey. Honeycomb. Honeycomb. Green. Green yellow. No. Next. Euro. No, the mixture of currencies. currencies. Yeah. Uh, Ten seconds. Three seconds. Nope. Boxed by this one, so I'm going to throw it over for the possible bonus. I think it's £5 note. Why do you think it's that? The owl and the pussycat. Pea green boat, honey, money, £5 Took note. Some honey and plenty of money, money wrapped, wrapped up in a £5, five pound note. You're absolutely right. They are things that the owl and the pussycat took to sea in their beautiful pea green boat. They took some honey and plenty of money wrapped up in a £5 note. Very well done. Please pick a letter. Uh, Delta, please. Delta. What is fourth? Time starts now. Um, Next, please. Is it something to do with Monopoly? No. So it's whatever. Is it Monopoly? Is so would it be, would it not, if it's Monopoly, then it's not. No, it's not. No, Monopoly, it's not. Because so. after Green, it's Next, uh, please. Oh, is it Dance Belt and Judo? Oh, it may well be. Seven brown. Down seven, down eight, Judo. Down. The top one's brown, wasn't it? Oh, so it's they come back to white. Was it? Yeah. The top one. I don't know. Oh, red. I don't know. I bet it's that, but I don't know. Red. Five red. seconds. Red. Could be red. Yeah, no, red's Could be red. Too. Yeah. I've got some white. Um, I think it's nine equals brown. Are they going to be judo or karate dance? You're wrong for several reasons, I'm afraid, so I'm going to throw it over for a bonus to the insurers. Uh, we'll go for nine equals red. I'm afraid you're not correct either. I'm surprised you didn't get this, gamblers. The answer would be nine equals yellow stripe. These are pool well, we ball yeah, we, colours. We knew it was pool, but we... Oh, you knew it was pool? <laughs> we knew it was pool yeah. but we... Yellow stripe God, is the nine ball. Well, there's lots of stripes these days. <laughs> yeah. So no points on that question. Insurers, please pick a letter. Gamma, please. Gamma. First clue coming up. These are going to be picture clues, so again, I'd like to know what you'd expect to see in the fourth picture. Time starts now. It's a symbol for a planet, I think. Yeah. Astrology. OK. I'm not sure which oh, one is it is. Um, yes, OK. So it's got signs of the zodiac. Next. That's the female. Oh, but it's also Venus, so the planetary yeah, sign yeah, is in. The, the Mercury right. Venus. But which, uh, but right. which has, probably is Mercury Venus. Yes. Mercury Venus, so probably so Mars. Mars which, which, which is the male sign. OK. Yeah. 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 No price. Yeah. Good. The male sign... For what reason? Um, it's the sign for Mars. You are absolutely correct. These are astrological symbols for planets moving from the Sun. Well done, Chris. Yeah. Mercury, Venus, Earth would have been third, and then Mars. So you get three points for getting it after just two clues. Well done. Gamblers, pick a letter, please. Beta, please. Beta. First one coming up. Time starts now. 
paper sizes is it going to be? Film, photographic film. Maybe, yeah. Next, please. Oh, yeah, all we to do is run 35 millimetres. Yeah, but that's, 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 that'll be IMAX or 8 millimetres, but yeah. Uh, I reckon we go for 8. We're not going to get any more of that, so we'll have yeah. it. 8 millimetre. Why? I think they're film, well, we think they're film sizes for uh, like either cinema or photographic films. You're right, 16 millimetre would be next and 8 millimetre. I think you said 65 millimetre is used for shooting IMAX, IMAX yeah. films, although the prints are 17 millimetre. So right. you also get three points for coming in after two clues. Okay. Insurers, please pick a letter. Epsilon. First clue coming up. Time starts now. Next. Bushy Park. Royal Parks. Which one Park? Bushy That's Park. The, but how would there be a sequel? Yeah, I don't You've know. You've got to find the sequel. They're, I think, it's a character, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Next. Yeah, Park. 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 Yes. And the next one would be Green, would it? Ten seconds. Royal Park. 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 Green. Why? Royal Parks. But what's the sequence? What's the sequence? <laughs> That's what uh, to work out. They are the order in which they were first laid out. I'm afraid that would not be a correct sequence. Possible bonus for you, gamblers. Is it Hyde? Why? Is it the size of the Royal Parks in size of area? It is Royal Parks by area, starting with the largest next in the sequence would be Hyde. So you get the bonus. Scores then at the end of round two. The insurers have got five points, but the gamblers are in the lead with 12 points. <music> Time for round three, the connecting wall. There's one wall per team. The insurers will be going first this time. You're going to see 16 clues, which I'd like you to sort into four connected groups of four. There are red herrings, there are clues that fall into more than one category, but there is only one perfect solution. So, you may choose the alpha or beta wall. Alpha, please. Right. The alpha wall will come up. You've got two and a half minutes to solve it, starting now. John Ball was a dog, was it? Douglas, Ginger. This is, is this the famous five? No. Uh, Henry. No, no, not... The, the, uh, the, 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 just William. Just William, yes. yes you've got Henry, William Henry. Douglas Ginger. Oh, Henry. Is that, uh, no, Henry. Henry, yeah, William Douglas Ginger and Henry. Yeah, that, 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 yeah. 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 Now, one of those it's is the famous five, I think. So, Ooh. William is definitely there, Henry was there. Yes, Douglas. Jumble is the dog. No. Is it, so, he could be a character. Yeah, Jumble, he could be a character. Just and I think it's Ginger. Is it Ginger? No. No. Well, let's try with Henry, Douglas. William, uh, John Bolton Douglas. No, he did that. Did you? No, no, he did that. Sorry. Right. Okay. <laughs> Look at the other ones as well. Yeah, yeah. great. Okay. Uh, Avalon. That island uh, is the island of Avalon. Chilling Island is where. Uh, You've used a minute. Uh, uh, any other island? Tracy Island is, is a uh, yes. on television. Is, is it a Skull, Skull Island? island I yeah, think. Skull Island. I think. And what was the other one? Avalon. 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 Avalon is an island in King Arthur. No. no. But you think Kirin was? Kirin is an island in the famous five, yes. Uh, Avalon and Amity? No. Um, You've got a minute left. What's tunic with a K at the end? I don't know. Must be somebody's name. Definitely an island of Avalon. Okay, so island. Uh, any other islands? Craggy Island. Perhaps sounds plausible. Tracy Island, Kirin Island. No. Uh, keep trying the islands. Right. Craggy Skull. Tracy Island, we reckon, and Avalon. No. Uh, 30 of, seconds left. One of these must be. Patrick. Ginger, Craggy, Tracy, and Ragdoll. No. Patrick, Ginger, 
Avalon Independent Production Company. Yes. Uh, oh, time running out. Davis. No. That's Avalon. it. The grid has frozen. <laughs> so I'm going to give you a point for the group that you identified, and there's a bonus point available if you can tell me the connection. Henry William Douglas Jumble. Characters in Just William. They're characters in Just William. And what's strange about Jumble? It's a dog. It's a dog. Quite right. Clearly Just William fans. <laughs> I approve. Now, you can still get bonus points for the groups you didn't identify, so let's resolve the wall. Right, what about that second group? Davis, Tracy, Tunic, Percival. Spencer. In Spencer a moment, yes. I almost saw the light bulb flash over yes. your head there. They're famous Spencers. Can you tell me who they are? Well, Spencer Davis, Davis. was the Spencer Davis trio. Spencer Trace was an actor. Spencer, Spencer Percival was a prime minister that got assassinated. I don't know who Spencer Tunic was. That was the one that threw he, He's an artist, <laughs> an installation artist. He sort of he gathers large numbers of naked people together, I believe. Oh, it's oh. that one. It's I that mean, that it's, one. it's not Starry Night, but they call it art. <laughs> so you get the bonus there. Amity, Skull, Kirin, Craggy. They're uh, islands, I think. They're yeah. all islands. Can you tell are me any more fictitious? about them? Are they fictitious? Ki Kirin Island is in the famous five. Mm -hmm. Skull Island is another, f no, another children's thing, is it? Skull Island is supposed to be where King Kong is from. Ah, yes. Amity Island, what if I tell you it's not about the island itself, but something <coughs> that swims around the island? Jaws. 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 Yes. Oh, That's yeah. Amity Island. Mm. And Craggy Island? Father Ted, the priest oh, from Father no, Ted, David know. von Craggy yes. Island. Not ours. And the last group, Avalon, Ragdoll, Ginger, Hattrick. They're all independent television production companies. They are. That was heartbreaking. You yes, just got it in the last again, few seconds. Yes. But couldn't get the numbers. So you get a point for the group that you found. You get four bonus points for finding all the connections. So that's a total of five points. So well done, insurers. Time to bring back the gamblers and see what they can do with the connecting wall. They'll get a new grid, 16 fresh clues, but there is still only one perfect solution. Watch out for the red herrings. They will be swimming about there, and you'll be getting the beta wall, because the alpha's already been chosen. You've got two and a half minutes to solve it, starting now. Oh. Mel Spices. Blanc, uh, Nigella, chefs, yes, Nigella Ramsey, ginger, Blanc. saffron, sesame. So when you want to have chess first? Uh, yeah, but I don't think Nigella Seeds, dogs. I think, I think Nigella will be uh, like herbs Mace. or plants or something. Mace is another one. Mace, you think there's, saffron, there's a lot of herbs. Nigella, yeah. ginger. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice quick group. Uh, Very um, good. Yeah, as you say, you've got chefs, haven't you? Yeah, Floyd, Oliver, Ramsey, Rhodes, Rankin. Rankin Rhodes, was there, Ramsey. Floyd, Oliver, Ramsey, Rhodes. So, uh, yeah. Rankin, so you're five there. So do you want to, do you want to try and eliminate? Pink Jin, Pink Lady, Pink Panther, <gasps> uh, Pink Floyd. Brilliant. <laughs> pink Lady, Pink Gin, uh, pink, pink Floyd, Floyd. Pink Panther. Now chef. you've got plenty of time left. Yes. Remember, with two groups, it's three strikes and you're out. Yeah. Two lives left. Raymond Blanc. Raymond Blanc. God Ramsey, Ramsey Rhodes. Gary Rhodes. Blanc. And Ian Rankin. So that, hang on, let's think, let's think of the others. The other so it's Rankin. Elm and oh, Sesame right. and Bash. They're all streets. It's Bash Street, um, Bash Street, Sesame, Sesame Street. Street. Nightmare on Elm Street and Ramsey Street. Yeah, Elm Street, Ramsey Street, Sesame Street, Bash Street. Yeah. Bash Street. Yes. There you go. Not even halfway through the allotted time. You've solved the wall. Congratulations. So that's four points. And there'll be bonus points if you can tell me the connections. Saffron, Mace, Nigella, Ginger. Oh, spices. spices herbs and spices. Yeah. They're all spices. I was impressed that you saw Nigella and immediately thought that'll be a red herring, not a chef. What else could it be? You must have seen this show before. <laughs> oh, plus, the other ones are all surnames. And they're given her first name. Again, you see, sometimes people freeze when they get to the grid. They can't think so logically. I like your style. Next group, Gin, Panther, Lady, Floyd. Pink Gin, Pink Panther, Pink Lady, pink, pink Floyd. That's it. They will be prefaced with pink. The red group, Elm, Ramsey, Bash, Sesame. Streets. streets. We know about horror films and cartoons. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Fictional streets. Ramsey Street from uh, Neighbours. Neighbours, of course. And the last group, Rhodes, Blank or Blanc, I suppose, Rhodes. Oliver Rankin. Top chefs, chefs. on TV. They Guy are Rhodes. all chefs. Is it Raymond Blanc? Raymond Blanc. Pucker, Jamie Oliver and... Uh, Paul Rankin. Paul Rankin. Paul Rankin and Gary Rhodes. Yeah. Very well done, though. You got four points for sorting out the groups, four points for the connections, and a bonus two for getting them all right. That is the maximum of ten points. Let's see how that affects the scores going into round four. The insurers have got 10 points, but the gamblers are in the lead with 22 points. 
So you're going to need a good round four insurers. There are lots of points available. This is the missing vowels round, where we take well-known names or phrases like only connect, the phrase on everyone's lips, take out the vowels, then squidge together the consonants. Teams, you must tell me what those names and phrases are. You'll all be competing together here, so fingers on buzzers. Any mistakes or long hesitations, I will take a point away and throw it to the other team for a bonus. So be careful. I can tell you that the first group are all crime writers. Let's go. Insurers. No, sorry, it's gone. No. I'm afraid you lose a point. Gambler's possible bonus. Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. One point to you. Next clue. Gamblers. Ian Rankin. One point. Gamblers. Josh Simonon. One point. Insurers. Edgar Allan Poe. Yes, one point. Next category, venomous sea creatures. Insurers. Sea urchin. One point. Gamblers. Stonefish. One point. Gamblers. Portuguese man of war. One point. Gamblers. Box jellyfish. Yes, it is. Next category, films directed by Woody Allen. Gamblers. Sweet and low down. One point. Gamblers. Radio days. Yes, one point. This one is interiors. Next clue. There are some obscure ones here. This clue is Alice. Next category, sources. Gamblers. Bolognese. One point. Another rather obscure one, mole, the Mexican sauce. Next clue. Gamblers. Bernays. One point. Gamblers. Too long, you lose a point. Ensure as possible bonus. Espanol. Yes, it is. One point. Next category, parts of speech. Gamblers. Interjection. Correct. Insurers. Auxiliary verb. Yes, one point. Gamblers. Objective pronoun. One point. Insurers. Indefinite article. You'll get the point, but that was a blast of sound from the hit album. Let's check the final scores. And at the end of the quiz, the insurers have got 14 points, but the winners are the gamblers with 33 points. So the gamblers will be polishing their clever clogs for the quarterfinals. For the insurers, unfortunately, their boots are made for walking. Meanwhile, like I said, I've got to be somewhere, but I always take a taxi. I don't even own shoes. Goodbye. Our brand new series, Getting Our Way with Sir Christopher Mayer, continues in just a few moments here on BBC4 tonight. Stay with us.